Hi, welcome back. It's Jen. I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet today. Now, remember how we did the slip stitch? Put it around the finger under, over, and around to make a loop on the hook. And then we made a chain. So we're going to make like 16 chains today. Um, it's one, two, three, you can tell by the V's, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. You can see the V's. Every V, like right here, is a stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now, to make a single crochet, you go into the second chain from the hook, which this on the hook does not count as a chain. This one is one and this one is two. Insert your hook into the second to the second chain. Go through under that loop, come around, and you have two loops on your hook. After you have the two loops on your hook, then you go around and go through both. That is a single crochet. Let's do it again. The next V is right here. We'll go in, under that loop, back around, and around, and there's your second one. Let's do this again. Go under that loop, go around, Dragging the yarn through, and there is another loop. Keep doing that till the end of the row. And you will end up with 14 stitches instead, instead of the sixth. Uh, I'm sorry. You'll end up with one less than what you started with. For instance, if you start with um, 10 chains, you'll end up with 9. And every row after that should be 9, nine stitches. I'll show you when we get to the end. Just keep going through, around, under, making 2, and going through the 2. Go into the next stitch, go around, go through. The next one, around, and through. The next one, it's right there, go come around, and go through. And the next one, through, around, and then the next one right here, and go through it, and around. Oops, don't get that yarn in there. <laughs> don't get that yarn. The tail around. Then we have, this is our last one. Go through and around. And it should end up like this. You can see the number of chains by counting them on the top. See the V's? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, and 15. So you'll have one less, uh, one less stitch than what you started with. And then every row is how I do it. Chain one and turn. And you can pull it apart and see which stitch you need to go into. So we'll go into the stitch, go around, and do your single crochets again. Go into the next, but this time you're not going under one thread. There's two. If you see, if you could see right there, you're going, make sure you go under both of them, unless your project says to go through the front loop or the back loop. The front loop is this one that's closest to you, and the back one is back here. But when you're doing the single crochets, make sure you go under both of them and go around. And it ends up the same. So when you get down to the end of this row, you would just chain one and go back down the other side. Right now, you're seeing the back of the project. And this is the front. I hope that helps you out to um, understand how to do a single crochet. And my next video, I will be showing how to do a half double crochet. All right. Thank you for watching. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you.